Who do I have this morning? Um, Kelly Finglass. I'm the director of the Dallas Cowboys Cheerleaders. And Judy Trammell. I'm the choreographer. Well, ladies, thank you so very much. I'm based in Dallas, Texas also, too. I'm right here in sunny, beautiful Garland, Texas. All right. All right. Yeah, so we're so excited that football season is going to start. My producer is your number one fan, James wow. Beebe. I'm telling you, he's your number one fan. He has his shirt on when the season starts. <laughs> That's and, what we love to hear. And I know he loves the girls. Tell me what you guys do to make the Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders number one in the nation. Well, we um, we take our job very seriously. We're obviously very um, quality control driven, and you see that in our audition process. We recruit from all over the country. Um, although, Valder, I will say we've had a lot of great cheerleaders come from the Garland area. So, little shout out there to Garland. Um, but we, you know, we're very selective for our team, and then once we select our team, we work very hard. We're dedicated to excellence, and Judy and I both have the um, experience, I think, that, that helps mold this team. Were you guys previous cheerleaders? This is why you can guide the others? We were. Both Judy and I cheered for the Dallas Cowboys in the 80s, so we, um, and we've been with the team since then, and we've, um, we've observed and studied and created performance opportunities for the cheerleaders now for 21, two years together. Okay. Let me ask you. Okay, I'm talking to Kelly, right? Yes. Okay, Judy, let me ask you. When you were a former Cowboys cheerleader, and now you're the leader of it, is life different post cowboy cheerleaders? And I don't think I've heard anybody ask you that. If if life is different, is life post. Is different when you are a post after being a Dallas Cowboy cheerleader. Do you feel like um, you know a retired football still get the accolades, get to go to the football hall of fame? Is life different? <laughs> <laughs> um, I think that it, it's a little bit different, but I think what you have learned while being a a Dallas Cowboys cheerleader always stays with you. We have a really strong alumni group, and they get together several times a year, and we keep in touch. So it's it's always something that stays with you. It's like a, a sorority. Okay, great. Now, this is for the first time ever, ladies. Uh, cheerleaders everywhere can try out for a chance to appear on your series. Tell me about the series. Well, the series... Um, that airs on CMT uh, starting Friday at 9, 8 central, um, really is uh, just captures our audition process. And the audition process is the same process that Judy and I went through in the 80s. We have hundreds of women coming from all over the country, and they will uh, be a part of a dance audition and a kick line audition. They have personal interviews with us, makeovers, um, photo shoot testing, this huge eight-week process of evaluating and selecting the top 36 women that will wear the uniform and cheer at the home Dallas Cowboys games. It's a lot of emotion, a lot of passion, a lot of talent. Some some make the team and some don't. Okay, so if they might, uh, audience wants to participate, you know, like we're here, we want to be first. At the <laughs> end, I want you to tell me, but I want to know, how in shape do you need to be? And I want to be not so, I'm not so much also interested in the the uh, aesthetics of the shape but i know you must want people to be healthy well of course we want them to be healthy and nutrition and fitness for their cardio and their stamina are very important our rehearsals are about four nights a week and about four hours per night um, we need the ladies to stay very hydrated they have to be um, on their game with nutrition because they literally need to fuel the, the energy that our performances require I like that. I really like that. So it's a total mind, body, spirit experience when they are part of the Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders. Yeah, I would say so. For the mind, um, in the dance part, they, there's a lot of sequence, a lot of choreography that they have to remember, and music they have to recognize and respond as a professional entertainer. Um, body, yes, they have to be in good shape and 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 take care of their bodies. Mind, body, and spirit, they have to be inspired. They have to be self-starters. We try to keep them motivated. And most importantly, they it's a group of women supporting women, and that is um, critical. So thank you. You just gave us our formula, mind, body, and spirit. I love that, really. 
tell me where can my audience try out? They may want to try out. We would love to have your audience <laughs> try out each year in April if they visit our website, DallasCowboysCheerleaders.com. The audition information is posted, and those auditions, next season's auditions, will take place next April. Well, I want to thank you, Kelly Fengoth and Judy Trammell, for talking about one of our favorite teams here in Dallas. And of course, you know we're loved by everybody. Thank you, Valder. Thank you. We appreciate you having us on. I can't wait for the new season. Thank you so much. And thanks for the great work you guys do. You make Dallas look good. Thank wow, you. Thanks.